Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. New arrival. <laughs> New people? Yeah. 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 Hello, hello. Hello, hello. A lot of people. The Hungarian attendant. She came? Yeah. You'll yeah. be attendant, but you cannot. <laughs> you stay home. Okay? okay? Thank you anyway. Come, no, go, thank, come, go. Okay. I thank you. <laughs> thank you. For the opportunity. Ah, oh, it's alright. Okay, Stay home, have a good husband, my God. I wish I had one, then I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Master, thank you. Okay. Because you're young, just engaged if you come here like that. It's not nice. For both of you, yeah. Newcomer, right hand? Right hand? Oh, man, where do we put you all up? Where do we put you? Oh. My God. You okay? Yes. With the toilet? Bathroom? Yeah? Yes. Eating soup now, go often to the bathroom, right? <laughs> Not really, no. If you don't eat soup, then you drink a lot of water anyway, you know, same. Anyway, how, how is the asceticism going? Huh? Do they have bread? Yeah? <laughs> they save a little uh, crust for you? Oh, poor man. Really? I had few. Four pieces? Or five. Five pieces? <laughs> oh, you have to break into small one and share it with the pigeon, or did you take it from the pigeon? pigeons? <laughs> oh, poor man. Choco, you know my kitchen, right? I have some bread on the table. Could you bring it here, please? A big French baguette. I didn't touch it. Bring it here. <laughs> For him. <laughs> For emergency uh, storage, yeah. <laughs> so they gave the pigeon more bread than they gave you? Oh, wicked people, wicked, wicked. <laughs> Very sorry about that. All right, newcomer, huh? Uh, Vietnamese also new? Yes. Yeah. I have to see how many languages I speak. <laughs> <laughs> Here come Italian. <laughs> If you, don't, <laughs> if you don't get it now, you get it later. Russian, I will give it you inside. <laughs> Hungarian, you happy with that? <laughs> My God, so many languages. <laughs> now, Mongolia as well. <laughs> 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 Understand everything, right? <laughs> Korea. <laughs> okay, you understand already. No need. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Brand new. Brand new, still soft. Mostly, mostly bought it for my dogs, you know, he, he likes <laughs> No, no, no. I don't mean to offend you. <laughs> Benny, he loves French baguette. 
No, 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 don't worry. We have. I always have a little bit extra in the fridge, uh, cold and hot in case. You you take it. He's sleeping already. Okay. Mm. It, we we have some other leftover. Okay. You enjoy it and you keep it in your pocket. <laughs> everywhere you go. <laughs> yeah, everywhere you go and then just <laughs> you know emergency. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is, don't left it out of sight, you know, because you know we have all kind of admirers here. <laughs> they don't always only love me; they love uh, food, <laughs> baguette. <laughs> all right, keep it, okay? Very much. You're welcome. If they don't give you again, you come knock on my door. I always have some bread in, in on my table, really. Yeah. Well, I understand him. You know, like me, I love rice because I'm Asian, huh? Uh, the European people, they love bread because this is them, yeah? So if I don't have rice too too long time, I feel like I'm missing something. Talking about attachment, <laughs> master and all, yeah. So if he miss the bread, it's normal. Yesterday I told him to put more for you, but they didn't hear you. you you know, I I have spoken, right? Yes, yes. The master has spoken <laughs> to herself. <laughs> okay, so you keep it, huh? Precious, huh? Mm. And if somebody else uh, uh, also iron on, you make them back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Just because one time you drove my car, so I treat you special. No jealousy. No, nobody has driven my car, right? No, 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 so... Uh, why do I keep looking here uh, for a newcomer? Yeah, we don't have to speak Vietnamese today. We have Austria and Germany, uh, Ireland, UK, Hungary, USA, Canada, New Zealand, China, Formosa, Korea, Mongolia. Ah, uh, today newcoming again. Welcome, eh? <laughs> New arrival. Welcome. <laughs> uh, Formosa, right hand. Oh, yeah. Next of kin. <laughs> Next to the skin. Uh, Formosa, okay. Uh, Mongolia? Ah, yeah. Yesterday we were talking about your country. Mm. They want to invade your house. <laughs> they want to take over the desert. Yeah. Yeah, over there it would be easy to build houses, no? Nah? All we do is just take a lot of bags with us, empty bags, which is light and easy, and put sand in there when we get there, and pile the sands back together, and there you are, you have an igloo, sand igloo, very simple and quick, yeah? Otherwise, why bother about the bag? I think we just dig, dig a hole and go down there, yeah? No? No good? You're shaking your head, why? <laughs> Mosquitoes. Okay. So um the the Mongolia you watch it okay The Chinese are coming mm. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody else also <laughs> Ah yeah Mongolia is a big land hey and only about how many uh, millions of people 281 Yeah yeah 2.8 Yeah I was thinking two around that but uh, I cannot believe this is so little Let's say four or five, so that <laughs> so that they will, you know, aspire up to this uh, level. Mm? <laughs> okay, in that case, we can fill the gap, right? All of us can go there, back the sand, or dig the hole, make the sand igloo. <laughs> now have a look, okay? Mm. And maybe I see some newcomer. Okay. Uh, so, have you uh, any question? If not, I go inside, see the new people. No, huh? Yeah, okay. So the new people, please go into the lower meditation hall downstairs. Go, go, I'm coming. So you can see me a little closer up. Maybe after they left, we talk something behind their back, huh? <laughs> You see, 
if you don't come, we have problem. If you come, we also have problem. And last time we had to rent so many houses extra because there were more people than than we uh, we we could handle. Imagine the hotel was trembling. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But then we had the other hotel outside, yeah? So people who stay too long don't have an airplane or don't want to have airplane ticket <laughs> can, can go there. <laughs> yes. And then uh, come back sometimes, have a look at us, to see if any vacancy, yeah? But mostly no chance. Now it's summer, you see, a lot of people having vacation with the children, huh? so they're coming. And we still have candies? No. Okay. It's still left over, yeah? But what I'm thinking is, if I don't have candy, how do I give it to you guys? Huh? Maybe a little Ziploc bag of rice or something? Ah, a bag of rice. Little, little one, right? Ziploc bag. Ziploc bag of rice, yeah. Yeah, good idea. Or peanuts. <laughs> what kept long? Rice, huh? Rice keeps the best. Best, huh? Longer. And then the people. One grain. <laughs> one percent of blessing power <laughs> in, in the whole Tamil. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, good. Wow, still a lot of people, huh? All right. Now we can gossip something. <laughs> you still see the ring? Lord of the ring? <laughs> yeah, still, still see that. Man, they won't leave you, huh? Both of you like to see each other so much. Mm. I don't know why you are still at the astral level. Hmm? It's a symbol of the um, the universal net, you know, that nobody could get escape from the karma, yeah? So make sure you tell them, go away. Huh? You tell them you belong to the Master and God now, so it's all right to, to leave. Huh? You have to really want to, <laughs> because if you are attached, you want them to stay, then they would stay. It's free will, you see? Okay. When new people come, do you cook more? Kitchen? Yes. And they always have enough food? Yes or no? Yes. Last time we prepare a lot of uh, bread today. A lot of bread? Yeah, but still gone. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of butter. But what do you expect? 400 people and only soup. <laughs> All right. So how many bread did you prepare? 200 baguette? Yeah, almost a 200. Uh-huh. Okay. And some toast as well? Yes. yes. Oh, gosh. Now your secrets are out. Huh? <laughs> you eat each one half of the baguette. That's a half of the submarine. Huh? <laughs> okay. And it's enough, and he doesn't feel enough because he has only a little crust left. It was yesterday, or the day before yesterday, when, when I was missing the bread. Yeah, but I asked you and you say you have just a little bit like that. That's why I gave you the bucket, give it back to me. <laughs> 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 you say you break into small pieces. Uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Pretend that I misunderstood you. <laughs> what up? Thank you. I take it back later <laughs> when nobody look. <laughs> Otherwise, you think I'm so miserly <laughs> because the give and take back. <laughs> okay, eat it all. <laughs> uh, listen, my dog will thank you. He's too fat anyway. My God, he loved bread. If I give him one whole love like that, he could eat it all. Benny, you know, this size. <laughs> <laughs> this is bigger. Yeah. <laughs> bigger than him, and he eats it all. When, when he hasn't got his dinner or breakfast yet, then he eats it. Non-stop, yeah? And go looking for leftover from Happy or Harley. My God. And then, um, you know, he can eat it breakfast, lunch, and dinner, on top of the, <laughs> the food that he eats already. Okay, guys. Uh, 
Mm, today I didn't intend to talk, just want to come out, have a look at you, and then we meditate together. Okay, huh? See you soon, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, you can turn off the light and we meditate, and then I come back. Oh, everybody can see, yeah? Uh, even my chair is high, but not high enough. I tell you, even if I stand up, it makes no difference. <laughs> we make a little house for me, you know, like a, a one meter eighty-eight long and a one meter forty something uh, wide. But I don't need the length. I could uh, sleep on the width, you know. <laughs> Just perfect. My toe touch the other wall and my hair touch the other wall, yeah? Just perfect. <laughs> yeah, next time if we make a house again, there's no need 188, just <laughs> 150 or something. Just <laughs> nice enough, yeah? All of you here 12 years old? You 12 years? Yes. Really? <laughs> you look so young. Is he really 12 years old? Yes. Oh, I wish I was that young looking. <laughs> and when you're 20, you will look like 15. <laughs> Vietnamese, Chinese? Taiwanese. Taiwanese? But he understood English, no? He told me he's 12. Do you understand what 12 means? <laughs> <laughs> <笑>有受五戒哈 哦,哎呀呀,这么年轻,太好了 <笑> 再证明看看。现在就不用了。现在不用证明了,要证明是我多老的。The newcomer. Give me the candies. Otherwise, I cannot give one by one today, huh? It's too many. So give me the candy. Yeah. Here, look, dear, so it's not too heavy for you. We give to the front and the back, we just uh, uh, give them the basket. This is the universal language, everybody understands. <laughs> no need translation. <laughs> yeah. There. I throw as long as I can, and the rest, we just have to uh, make them do it. Oh. Here come Russian language. <laughs> Korean language. <laughs> 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 You know why all the masters are males. <laughs> no need a lot of equipment. <laughs> you could even go uh, topless or bottomless, whatever, like the Himalaya yogi, nobody say nothing. And here I have a lot of equipment, still worry whether or not okay. What or nonsense. Yeah? <laughs> I don't understand why one part of the body is different than the other part of the body that we have to hide one and show the other. Oh, the, the older I get, <laughs> the less I understand. Uh, no, no, don't take too much, amen. 
No more? How, how many people don't have rice hand? Oh, this was a big basket. No, no, we have it here. Pass on. Whoever don't have, take it. The one who don't have, please take it. Yeah? All right. So what do we do? I think if we don't give this, uh, we have more peace. <laughs> All right, good, good. Okay, any question, guys? Loving story? Newly wet? If not, you can just look at me. <laughs> it's also good that uh, nowadays everything is very uh, open. Huh? Yeah. So that soon we don't have much problem. We, I better we just air it all out. Yeah. No need secret. Uh, accept the initiation because people have to be sincere to come to us for it. That's all. Hmm? Normally, uh, the, our method is not for the public, you know? Normally, the Master never uh, openly teach this method since ancient time like that. Just a small group, small group. Before, even smaller. <laughs> <laughs> In the old time, even smaller than now. Hmm? Did you guys just arrive? Yes. Uh, did you have food a little bit? Yes. Enough? If not, you find the kitchen or go in the office and ask for it, okay? Because sometimes um, um, some people are more hungry today and eat a little bit more than other people cannot find. Like yesterday, the guy don't have the bread. <laughs> but this often happened in, in other ashram. When I was in India, bread is like a, a, a how you say, hot property, you know? Oh, yeah, very difficult to find. And the guy who cooks in the kitchen, he doesn't know how to make bread. He only knows how to make chapati. <laughs> chapati is easy to make because it's flat. But the big, the big bread like this, he doesn't know inside is still wet and, and uh, creamy inside. <laughs> so you just have to eat it. Or sometimes don't even have that. If a newcomer, you know, and they don't always uh, notify in advance, then the cook doesn't know how many uh, portions to cook. and Sometimes don't have enough. I often also did not have enough food when I was in the ashram. And I gave, I gave all the money away already, so I couldn't buy anything for myself. Yeah. Other people, they're more clever. They always have money, and they go out and buy things, so they don't care whether or not uh, uh, the ashram has enough food. I was a little stupid. I'm always stupid. <laughs> maybe, that's, maybe that's why heaven loves me, because I'm stupid. Yeah? <laughs> Try to protect me, huh? I still am stupid in many ways, really. Naive, yeah? Yeah. You heard that in the old times, sometimes the practitioner, they uh, want to do the practicing and uh, just immediately and don't want to wait and all that. And even if a hardship, they bear it. I, uh, I'm also the same. That's stupid, yeah. When I see some new level higher, I, I jump over there, you know, no matter how many hours drive. And then when I got there, maybe midday or maybe midnight, it doesn't matter, I just go to, right to the spot before I even f be able to find blanket or mosquito nest the way you do. <laughs> Therefore, sometimes uh, uh, the insects, they take advantage of that. <laughs> But after a while, if you sit uh, very deeply, you don't care anymore. You just let them. <laughs> Even before, not just now, when I was uh, younger, eh? mm. I came to a temple in Taiwan to stay. And they let me stay for a while. And at night, normally everybody has a mosquito net in their room. I had no idea and had not, not one. So I just sleep through. <laughs> and then... <laughs> In the morning, everybody say, Oh, you're so compassionate, you're so compassionate. <laughs> yes, they think I'm charitable. <laughs> I think I did it on purpose. <laughs> ah, you know, yeah, ignoramus, no? <laughs> Just like the guy in uh, the, the joke that I told you or somebody else told you. There was one guy who went to Africa, newly, you know, arrived and then... And then he saw the, the, the little river. There's no boat or no one, so he just swam across. And when he arrived at the other shore, 
a lot of people in the tribe just standing there looking at him and 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 clapping hands and he said, well, 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 what's the big deal? They said, oh, this river nobody dare swim across before, full of crocodiles. <laughs> Yeah, they thought he's a hero, nah? <laughs> like like me, the Taiwanese the monks and nuns in that temple thought I'm charitable, <laughs> very compassionate, compassionate, and they even say I have a bodhisattva heart. <laughs> I, I wouldn't know the difference <laughs> between this heart or your heart or anybody. Yes, I was tired, you know, and they just give me a bed, so I just lay down and sleep. What else you do there? Yeah, if they gave me a mosquito net, then I would know. Maybe I hang it up, but they didn't do any. They didn't tell me, and then say that it, I'm so compassionate. <laughs> so I- ignorant is saintly. Huh? <laughs> okay. Anything you want to tell me? We haven't seen each other for a long time. How is the uh, things? How are things at home? How is your practice? Tell me some of it. Yeah, yeah tell good, me. Good news to report to Master. Four years ago, I created four pages, Facebook, uh-huh. and they are alternative living, veganism, yeah, yeah. and from <laughs> crisis to peace, and the key of immediate enlightenment, the mm. simple booklet. Yeah. And I started with one fan, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> and now, in four years, they grow now up to more than 50,000 fans. Fan? fans. Facebook? Yeah. Wow. For, the, for those four pages. For, for, for the pages? Yeah. Wow. People view, they can visit the pages, uh-huh. and if they like it, mm. they just click like it. Wow. And then immediately, the all link information goes to the, the person's profile. Whomever uh-huh. visit the, my pages mm-hmm. and like it. Yeah. They click like it. Yeah. Then that link, like from Crisis Peace, for example, yeah. the link goes to the, the person's profile, individual profile. Uh-huh. So their friends oh, we look at it can too. see it, can ah. do the same thing. Oh. So it grows like a. And yeah, now fast. you have 50,000 fans. Wow. Yeah, more than that. Now. Oh, more than a wonderful. And actually, it reached already like a million people because wow. their friends, friends, ah, yeah, and their friends, 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 and their friends, friends keep going. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, thank you very much, Master. No, I'm thank very, you. Very grateful. They, they like Master's teaching. That's why they yeah. create likes. Yeah, yeah like, must <laughs> come for initiation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least a convenient method. That's why the world is getting better, okay? Yeah. Because of all of you effort. Because nowadays, Internet is the eleventh wonder of the world. <laughs> yes, so everybody can uh, inform themselves through the internet. It's yes. a very good thing, hey? Yeah, and they're working. Yes, and very good. They have a. They are like twenty languages for oh. from crisis to peace. I can't believe it. How old are you? So wise. Sixty-two. <laughs> Sixty-two, and you know all this Facebook and stuff. No, that's my daughter's teaching me. Ah, oh, I wish I had one to teach me. <laughs> I don't even know how to move the mouse. <laughs> well, I could learn, it just don't have enough time. And now I even have less time. So I let you all do it. Any of you do similar to her? I have thousands of fans. I have 3,000. You have 3,000 fans? Bravo. But that 3,000 means more, huh? at least 9,000, no? Yeah. Because they have friends and family. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Excellent. That's why I told you right now, uh, we have a lot of vegan people in the world, or vegetarian, yes. Yeah. Or at least very much aware of it and try to eat less and less meat now. Hmm? Hmm. Uh, last time I reported to you that we have about more or less 50% uh, consciously vegetarian and vegan, yeah. And or maybe breatharian, yes. But uh, other people, they are almost like convenient people, you know? They eat less and less meat. So even if uh, we don't have 100% vegan population, but we have a lot, uh, like half percent, <laughs> you know, half, uh, half vegan, yes, or two-thirds vegan, 
something like that. Yeah, there's more awareness now about uh, vegetarian the cruelty of animal diet and also the environmental damage of the meat consumption. Huh? Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank I'm very proud of Thank you. you. Thank you immensely in the name of the animals and the planet. And you can have one of these blue things here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, anyone else? Yeah, yeah. Now you have time, huh? You just keep clicking all day, huh? My full time job now. Your full time job now? Oh, okay. So, one more good news from Hungary. Yeah. Since last year, uh, I think around June, the government banned uh, the smoking in uh, private areas, mm-hmm. like in um, bars. No, oh. it's not allowed to, to smoke indoors. Oh, good. And also within uh, five meters of every entrances, like uh, when you go to, to work, then you, you cannot, uh, I mean, people cannot, uh, you know, smoke mm. within five meters. And also uh, they cannot smoke in um, the public transportation mm. areas, in the good. bus stops. Good, good. And people who, who, who do that, they, they get uh, fine. fine. Yeah. Oh, wow. So it's very, very good. Bravo. They good government. Really, really good fresh, government. So. Yeah. Very Thank good. You. Thank you for the good news. <laughs> smoking bans save lives. Quitting smoking and restricting alcohol consumption, along with more exercise and higher fruit and vegetable intake, reduces the risk of strokes by more than half. United Kingdom's ban on smoking in public places reduces passive smoke effects, which are linked to loss of life for more than 11,000 people every year. In the U.S., the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration said that sales of tobacco to underage youth have reached all-time lows in all 50 states. The number of young smokers aged 18 to 29 has fallen by 30% in Victoria, Australia, thanks to smoking bans in pubs and clubs. Smoking rates in Japan have been declining since 1996. Smoking bans mean decreases in acute coronary syndrome. A study in Mississippi, USA found that heart attacks were reduced by 27% three years after indoor smoking was banned, with similar bans in 11 other worldwide locations also showing a reduction in both heart attacks and heart disease. Rome, Italy experienced an 11.2% decrease in acute coronary events in the first year after a smoking ban in public places went into effect. Israeli researchers report that for people who are able to stop smoking, the increased risk of sudden cardiac death seems to disappear immediately. The National Sanitary Institute in France announced a significant decrease in heart attack rates following the country's smoking ban, with benefits also noted for decrease in secondhand smoke inhalation effects. New York, USA experienced an 8% decline in hospital admissions for acute myocardial infarction after a comprehensive smoking ban which translates into healthcare savings of 56 million US dollars in one year. Smoking bans mean better health. A U.S. medical study finds that quitting smoking has nearly immediate benefits, including lowered blood pressure and reduced heart attack risk within 24 hours. Data from the National Population Health Survey shows those who smoke have higher rates of chronic conditions, such as bronchitis, asthma, and high blood pressure. Smokers and those exposed to secondhand smoke develop colon cancer about seven years earlier than non-smokers. Smoking bans mean healthier children. Research from the Michigan State University in the USA and the David Hyde Asthma and Allergy Research Center in the UK show that the smoking habits of mothers during pregnancy increase asthma risks in some children. Children regularly exposed to secondhand smoke have more than triple the risk of lung cancer, as well as higher risks of other respiratory problems later in life. Smoking bans are good for business. In his annual report, UK Chief Medical Officer Liam Donaldson said a public smoking ban would save an estimated 2.7 billion pounds. 680 million pounds saved by having a healthier and more efficient workforce. 140 million pounds saved through fewer sick days. 430 million pounds saved from productivity loss from smoking on the job. 100 million pounds saved from cleanup costs related to cigarette smoking. Plus more. For more information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash arms dash benefits dash flyer.
any other Facebook or nose book or <laughs> head book, you spread it out, no, you don't? I, I, uh, I actually do, but uh, in smaller extent, like my friends, but I have only about uh, 100. But it's uh, always positive things, some, mm. some positive quotations uh -huh. from different saints uh -huh. or from Supreme Master Television, oh, so okay. different scales. Wow. How did you come into this uh, idea? It's free to create pages, accounts. And um, actually, Facebook is designed for networking, friends, talking. But I see my two daughters, they are always on the Facebook, make friends and talking a lot of, you know, a lot of things, you know. Mm. Then it came to my mind, I said, why well, I can use this for, you know, to spread Master's yeah. teachings and vegan diet recipes. Yeah. Oh, people love it. People love Master's teachings. And, yeah, and? and the, the booklet is great. The, the key of uh, enlightenment, small. enlightenment small booklet is, on, is uh, the link online. There are 79 languages. Wow. Yeah. You can choose what language you want to read. And I put it on, you know, about. Yeah. Good idea, huh? Mm. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, Master. Master's, master's blessing. They like it. They quit like it because they like master's teaching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, good idea. <laughs> Very good idea. Yeah. I'm impressed. Yes. Okay. So maybe that's a good example, huh? Yeah. Very good. If you have time, best, the best way to spend your time is doing like that, huh? Yeah. I'm so happy when I go in. Yeah. They, You're like they, a teenage now on Facebook all day long. <laughs> Internet, chat room, <laughs> room, room, room. <laughs> Very good. It's the first time I heard that one person makes much, so much difference. Maybe because you are, are loving and positive and You're kind. I'm so happy when I do that. Yeah. <laughs> and people always give a very positive feedback. I spend like uh, five, six hours every day. Oh, full time yeah. job? Yeah, full time job. I'm retired, so oh. I have time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So every time when I do it, I feel so happy, so excited because they always give very positive feedback. Yeah. Before, like. Feedback, huh? Yeah. Nice. Like before, three, four years ago, they make comment, like a <laughs> negative comments. Mm. I like really? You. Yeah. And now they make positive comment? Positive. And now it's zero negative. Zero negative. Oh. So happy. So. Four years long with all this negative and you continue? Yes. Oh. Such a great person. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You're thank a great you. woman. <laughs> thank you. Four Mr. years long and she endured all this uh, negative uh, attack. And now she bears the fruit. All positive, zero negative. You because, famous because masters. <laughs> they don't know me. They know masters. Yeah, you? but uh, all I post for I download for SMTV. Yeah, and upload to there mm -hmm. so they can view programs, um, programs, and, yeah. and you know all masters teachings oh, okay. or interview or yeah. interviews. Any more communicators? Yeah, you know, yeah. interviews. Oh, wow, and vegan. So and smart cooking. Mm. Because so master. <laughs> <laughs> and for doing that, your level's gone up so quick. Thank you, Master. Yeah, as you saw, so shall you reap, no? If you're so loving and uh, kind to others, mm. try to help others in this way, you know, of course, uh, heaven rewards you. Hmm? Didn't expect that, you know, just... Yeah, I know, like, I know I that. I like to do it. I know that, I know that. So I know. Be That's so why. happy, so... Yeah. Good. I'm confident with the master. So, it's very you know. good. Very good. Thank you, huh? Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Uh, we have a loving hut in the greater Washington, D.C. area. Yeah? You live there? Yes, oh. in Virginia, okay. right next to D.C. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it was voted best of Virginia. Oh, really? Yeah, it's uh, one of the best three vegan vegetarian restaurants in Northern Virginia. Okay. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, it's voted best, but do you have income best or just... Oh, uh, right now, my wife and I don't even have to work there. We have people running the place. <laughs> oh, wow. And what are you doing then? 
Uh, we are managing more or less oh, okay. managing. But when we opened the restaurant, I said because Master encouraged us to do it. Yes, I knew nothing about cooking. Yes, like most Vietnamese men. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but we opened it, and I I cook like twelve, thirteen hours a day, and now I teach the kitchen staff how to cook. Oh wow! Um, it uh, it was not doing well for a while, and then somebody told me, if you own a loving hut or if you work in a loving hut, you have to meditate five hours a day. Four. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we were working so hard, we hardly had time, had time to meditate. But oh. I said. That's what I have to do. Yeah. But I heard five, so I started meditating five hours a day. Oh man, somebody wicked. <laughs> But it's good for you, of course. And then things just uh, turn around. Things turn so quickly, and yeah. now, just like she said, at first there were some negative comments. But yeah. it seems like if somebody make a negative comment, somebody else jump in and make a positive comment yeah. and gave us five stars. Yeah, wow. <laughs> so now we are four and a half stars, which is the the highest for yes, our area. Yes, of course, no highest everywhere. Mostly they have just four spoon, not five spoon. <laughs> no, that means five star. Yeah, normally four star is the best already. So now um, four we, and half even. Yeah. Wow. We try to meditate four to five hours a day, and if oh, thank you. There's more problem. We just meditate six hours a day, and then things, <laughs> things are taken care of. Ah, oh, I told you, seek you first the kingdom of God. I keep telling, but nobody believe me. Now you do, huh? Yes. Yeah. Good. Now I have a motivation <laughs> to, to meditate. <laughs> to meditate, <laughs> just to solve the problem, <laughs> and to and to make business. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> It's strange that people came to our restaurant and they they didn't know like this. they didn't know about master even yeah but uh, there was a a storm in Virginia and yeah. our area were, had no power for just half a day and the lady came in she said thanks to because you have a vegan restaurant here that's why other places had no power for weeks yeah and our area. The power only went out for half a day, oh. and she thanked us. And, oh, really? <laughs> and then uh, the same lady um, later, she came to us and she said, "I cannot eat meat anymore." And now she's a vegan. full time, yeah, vegan. Oh, wow! But thank to you. But a lot of people are like that. A lot of people came to eat, and then lately they became they, they vegan just uh, cannot be. Yeah. They just cannot bear meat, you know. Normally, like that, it's become just. The system just begin to change slowly and then shortly and then they just cannot bear meat. Yeah, automatic is good because you put a lot of love in it and the God's name and yeah, so people change. Okay. Like There's a, a disciple. He came. To, uh, he used to work somewhere else and mm. he came to work for us. Yeah. He worked a lot harder. His job in the kitchen was yeah. very hard. Yeah. But after a while, he said, "Now I got." Uh, Two potatoes from Master. <laughs> yeah, because he uh, uh, when it was slow uh, around like uh, between three and five. Every restaurant is very slow between three and five p.m. Mm. He sat and meditated, and he saw light from mm -hmm. above. Mm -hmm. And he thought somebody turned on the light. He looked up, and there was no light on the ceiling, mm -hmm. but he saw light coming down. Yeah, and then um, he met a uh, a Buddhist monk. Yes. And he met my um, kitchen, cook. yeah, my cook. Yes. And he told his disciples. He pointed to my cook. He said, "Don't look down on this man. This man is higher than me." Wow. And it was amazing that a, a monk would say such a thing to his disciples. Yes. But I he was. didn't know that my cook uh, practiced the Kuan Yin method. And, oh. Yes. And then um, he just saw it because of yes. the light around him. Yes, yes he saw yes. it. And then um, my disciple, my. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. My cook. <laughs> my <laughs> my cook. The cook met a, uh, a Buddhist monk. You, you mean your disciple met? <laughs> is um. Yeah, it's okay. Why not? There's a different disciple. This different kind of disciple. Yeah. Yes, uh, he learned cooking from me. <laughs> yeah. See, see, chef disciple. <laughs> so what happened? And uh, he met this. Uh, Theravada monk, but then um, my cook had a had a daughter. 
Yes. And his daughter and his son-in-law came to came to visit this monk, mm. and they were so impressed by this monk they became his students, Disciple. his oh, yeah, disciples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then they became a vegetarian, hundred huh? percent. The cook in his house before he was the only one who was vegan. His yes. wife was not. His daughters were not. Uh-huh. His Uh, son-in-laws were not now, they all became vegan yes. because of his practice. Oh. And also they met the monk uh-huh. and they became vegetarian. Oh, bless him. Hmm? Bless is the man who knows humility. He even recognized when somebody else is greater than him. I mean, his disciple, <laughs> <laughs> his cook disciple, <laughs> second-hand disciple. Yeah, first... First the cook was my disciple, and then he became his disciple, the second-hand disciple. <laughs> wow. But the, the thing about this monk is he's 80 years old, but he went out, he cleaned up the yard, he cut Everything trees, he and he got the money from that. Oh, to, said, earn, to, yeah, to live. To, yeah. to earn a living. Yeah, and I don't take anything for free, so you neither, okay? We keep our dignity, we take care of ourselves, yeah? We're not homeless, we're not beggars. We can pay for ourselves, then we pay. Okay? Got it all clear? Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm. Also, my money also won't go to my family. I already made my will. Everything goes to the Supreme Master International Association, whatever I have. Either in my name or in somebody else's name, but my money or my earning or everything will go there if I die and continue to, you know, to help people or to spread the teaching, if I die, huh? Yeah. And right now, also everything is yours anyway. Almost everything is yours. <laughs> right now, uh, it's all yours, yes? And uh, I live in a little wood house <laughs> behind here. Yeah. I told you already, it's a little bit waste because it's a one meter eighty, eighty eight long. And I, I can make do with the width, <laughs> one meter forty something already. <laughs> Next time we'll make it smaller. <laughs> yeah, that's the advantage of being small. You fit everywhere. <laughs> you don't need big house. Well, we have big house. They, they reserve it for me. But I I feel I don't need the big house. That's all. Not because you don't treat me well, okay? It's not like that. I prefer a smaller house. Easier for me to concentrate. I feel more, I say, relaxed in a smaller space. Because I don't have to clean up too much. And then I don't have to rely on my attendant to clean for me. And then uh, I don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> yes. Of course, if I come on with you and I bought a lot of clothes there, then I'm just wearing it. <laughs> if don't have, then I probably don't wear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here I come. <laughs> <laughs> like it or not, I'm coming. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Wonderful news. It's beautiful. I love to hear the things about your disciple. <laughs> My It's God. All thanks to Master's <laughs> teaching. Yeah, the monk, How he sees he know? something from the cook. He ah. sees something. He okay. must have seen something. Yeah, the, the light from The me. light. Yeah, because... That's why he liked his family so much. Oh, I see. Because all practice and vegan now, uh, probably knows it. Okay, it's good. He even say that he's better than him. Wow, what a humility. He's a true monk. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. And still work, you know, to earn his own living. This is true monk. It's like uh, Bai Chang, you know? One day don't work, one day don't eat. It's wonderful. My God, such a beautiful monk. Wonderful. So lovely to hear. If you see him again, tell him I have very much respect for him and I uh, pray the Buddhas bless him. <laughs> Now and thereafter, okay? Yes. Uh, I don't know if he likes candy. Uh, give him some candy? Yeah, souvenir, because what can you give to the monk, right? He don't need anything. Give him some candy for the monk. <laughs> if he takes it. If not, then of course you, you eat it. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Same, same. Just some for souvenir, huh? If he doesn't take it for any reason, then you take it. <laughs> It, it won't go to waste. <laughs> All right, okay. Just for love, yeah? Just for love and respect. Such a true monk, hard to find. Wow. 
Wow, such a wonderful person. Hmm? He's in America, huh? Yes. Okay. All right, anybody else? Can I share a true joke? Yeah, joke? Okay. Yeah, I read it on the newspaper. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is a true joke on the newspaper? <laughs> It's a new, true newspaper as well, right? True, true okay. from Hong Kong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the new pub, uh, he always do everything personally. Yeah. So one time he called another very important minister, very high position minister, mm-hmm. and yes. pre- yeah, uh, the operator answered, and he the the pub talked to the operator says, uh, "This is the pub, uh-huh. and can I speak to?" Sons uh, or reverend. Mr. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I say, oh, you are the pup? Then I'm the Napoleon. <laughs> <laughs> no, I cannot be true. I heard something like that before. Uh, similar. Oh. Uh, okay, could be. No, I like this pup very much anyway. <laughs> He's very uh, humble. Yeah. yeah. Very uh, un- unpretentious. Okay, next one. Anybody? You, you, you done with your joke? Okay, good. Yeah. That's why I don't call people. <laughs> if I, sometime before I did call, you know, personal, and, and when they heard, yeah, it's me. And you mean, and they say, oh, oh, master. And then he begin joking and don't talk. I don't hear anything what he said. <laughs> That's like that. <laughs> it's really like that. And you hear nothing at all. <laughs> oh, it's a dead silence at the other end. And there's, hey, are you still there? Hello? Hello? I thought it broke up. You know? I thought the line broke up. So I hang up and I call again. Oh, I'm so sorry. Are you going to bed? I say, please talk. Don't cry. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> 师父我讲中文好吗 但是他们不知道从饮食上面然后他们也同意 然后就跟中国的那个中国社科院，然后有他们来出面主办这个会议，因为我们公司太小，不可能有人听我们的，所以我们当时就决定由政府层面来出面来开这个会。然后就去谈了之后呢，就整个会议上，这个郭德兰就
在研究那个饮食的，就是碳足迹的计算。本来他们没有把碳的排放啊，从饮食考呃饮食方面去考虑。他现在政府有没有晓得啦？那个、他们有有有,有，他们有有了解，他们有了解。农业部开了一个会，他们知道那个畜牧业是那个有造成甲烷的。所以他们现在讨论一个就，但是也他们也考虑到就业问题呀、啊，什么营养问题啊，所以他们说这是一个很综合性的问题，怎么去考虑，嗯、然后把这个饮食方面的那个比例提高。哎，对、嗯，应该考虑的，应该很快就决定了，我要考虑而已。<笑> OK， thank you。好，做得好，嗯。Some of the benefits of a vegetarian diet lowers blood pressure, lowers cholesterol levels. Reduces type 2 diabetes, prevents stroke conditions, reverses atherosclerosis, reduces heart disease risk 50%, reduces heart surgery risk 80%, prevents many forms of cancer, stronger immune system, increases life expectancy up to 15 years, higher IQ, saves 70% of the total cost of 40 trillion U.S. dollars for reducing global warming. Uses four and a half times less land to grow food, conserves up to 70% clean water, saves 80% of the cleared Amazonian rainforest from animal grazing. A solution for world hunger. Free up 3.4 billion hectares of land. Free up 760 million tons of grain every year. Half the world's grain supply consumes one third fossil fuels of those used for meat production. Reduces pollution from untreated animal waste, maintains cleaner air, saves four and a half tons of emissions per U.S. household per year, stop 80 percent of global warming, plus more. Save your life. Be veg. Go green. For more urgent information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com/beveg. Hello, Master. Hi,、um, Mr. Jordan, Leach. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The sister here was talking about the non-smoking ban in Hungary. Well, six years ago, I think Ireland was the first country to introduce the no-smoking ban. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other countries were looking at this. They said we have to do something about to stop people or to cut down on the smoking.、Mm. But they were scared of doing it because of the kickback from the. The public. Yeah. So the, okay, Ireland went first, and they said, "Ireland, this is the country where people live in pubs all day long and smoke all day long. Yeah. It will never work there." Yeah, but it worked, eh? Day one, one hundred percent compliance. Ah. One hundred percent. Can't believe this. So soon after that, Scotland. Are you sure、Guinea? they were not came straight from the pub? Were <laughs> already too much Guinness? I don't think so. No, <laughs> no huh? Yeah,、it、I'm just、work. joking. It did work. It did work. Yes. But, Recently, the Irish Medical Organisation came out with the findings of the results of stopping smoking. Yeah, they said many, many thousands of lives have been saved. Yes, this will be the passive smoking. Yes, they have also found that young people are not taking up the smoking like their parents and yeah, elders. Yeah, yeah, like before they would have done. Yes. yes, and the present Minister of Health in the present government. Yeah, he is adamant that he will eliminate all smoking. In everywhere, everywhere. But I'm all smoking. Yeah.、And、also, he's stopping <laughs>、um, the alcohol.、Uh, the, the drinking, the alcohol、yeah. businesses have a lot of. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> They are involved with the sports. Yes. A lot of advertising. Yeah. That's got to be eliminated also. Yeah. So it's all good news. Ah, good. Yeah. Benefits of alcohol bans: Stroke risk reduced by 50% by quitting smoking and restricting alcohol consumption, along with more exercise and higher fruit and vegetable intake. Researchers in Spain find that alcohol-free beer reduces cholesterol levels, along with other potential heart benefits, without any of the risks associated with alcohol consumption. Financial savings. A Canadian study estimates alcohol intervention programs could save 880 lives and 1 billion U.S. dollars every year. 
mortality. A 10% decline in vodka sales resulted in a significant decrease in alcohol-related deaths in Russia in one year. Exercising, drinking less alcohol, eating fruits and vegetables, and not smoking extends life expectancy by 14 years. Cancer. A World Cancer Research Fund study finds reducing meat and alcohol consumption decreases cancer risk. Other illnesses. The brain's regeneration and performance are increased once alcohol consumption ceases. Alcoholic hepatitis patients can gain complete recovery if the patient gives up alcohol and has a good diet. Bodybuilding.com states that bodybuilders who refrain from alcohol consumption experience benefits in terms of muscle gain, hydration, recovery, metabolism, and mental focus. Social implications. A New Zealand liquor ban resulted in 98% less liquor offenses as well as a reduction in other crimes. Research in New Mexico, USA shows that Sunday bans on alcohol sales resulted in fewer collisions and traffic casualties. Alcohol-related crimes dropped by 15% following an alcohol ban in Aberystwyth, UK. An alcohol ban becomes permanent on the jetty area of Coffs Harbour City, Australia, due to its success in reducing crime. Youth. In the U.S. state of Florida, raising the legal drinking age from 18 to 21 significantly reduced auto accident-related fatalities. A voluntary ban of alcohol sales to youth under 21 in the UK's Marsk village is made permanent as crime and antisocial behavior is reduced. An alcohol ban in U.S. colleges helps overall alcohol abstention and reduces bouts of drunkenness and secondhand effects of drinking. Plus more. For more information, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash harms dash benefits dash flyer. And by the way, I never got the opportunity to tell you this before, but when we presented the plaque to Mr. Martin, who was the then uh, Minister for Health, who brought in the non-smoking ban, Yes. He was very pleased with the plaque you gave him. Uh, yeah, yeah. Was, the Leadership yes. Award. Yes. yes, yes, of course. Uh, oh, how you know he's uh, very pleased. You met him personally? I, I, I presented him. I, and the time, then he yeah. was very pleased? Yes. He asked us about us and who you were and so on. He deserves it. Well, he's, a very, he's a man of high integrity. Yes. And recently, well, three, four years ago, when Ireland had the economic crash, um, the party he was in, they were all voted out. But he was the one who people had respect for. And he, was, he, he still held his seat. Yes. And he is now the leader of that party. Wow. See? Yeah. Good boy. Mm. Yeah. So there you are. Thank you, Master. Wow. How you say that in Gaelic? Uh, good boy. Yeah. Bukli das. Bukli das. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him Bukli das. <laughs> Yeah, good leader, hard to find. The more the better for this world, yes. Oh, my God. Sometimes I see what the leader's doing, I feel, my God, this world gone crazy. <sighs> yeah, next one. How about the other half have nothing to say? Mrs. Leach? <laughs> okay, you guys going strong still, eh? All these years. Yeah. Thanks. Well, it's, it's the internal triangle. See, we're married now a long time, but about 20 years ago, another woman came into our uh, yeah. relationship, <laughs> you know, but it's going on very well. <laughs> she come to love me and tolerate me. <laughs> so it doesn't matter, right? Nothing yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Hi, Master. Hi. I just... Um, I like your hair. Cool you. hair. <laughs> How many hours it took you? <laughs> well, a sister from Cancun did it. Four for hours, me. right? Yes. Okay, I guess. Okay, come on. Well, um, the question I want to ask you is because of my profession, the only time I have is just barely enough time for meditation. Mm. So, therefore... Um, I don't have much time to... What profession? Well, I'm a doctor. So? You so, don't have time off a weekend or some? Um, well, basically, I'm on call and all that. But not so. every day. Most of you on call, like, when you uh, take turn with other doctors, no? Right, right. But then 
other time we have to study keep Understand. up with uh, oh, yeah, yeah, education yeah. So and updates all that. and everything right. always new new discovery okay okay right. i understand i remember <laughs> so so we pretty much uh, work for our, our living trying mm-hmm. to pay off the loan and all yeah. that yeah. so i feel like all these years that you know there's there's not much improvement in my spiritual mm. so please help master should i meditate for you no <laughs> What Two I more is, hours and half every day. <laughs> no, I, I actually I do meditate like um, do what you three can. three hours or more. That's a lot already. It's good. But then why complain? Continue that. Do as much as you can. You can't be more busy than this guy. He has disciple and all. <laughs> <laughs> you heard his story, huh? Cooking sixteen sixteen hours a day and still need to meditate five hours a day. That leave him only two hours to sleep. No, it's okay. Do what you can. I understand. Your job is also a part of a loving service, okay? When you're doing your work, you're mm-hmm. thinking you're doing master work, okay? That would probably make up a little bit for your lack of meditation, okay? Right. Don't worry. You're doing fine. But I, I have a question in regard to my meditation. Tell me, tell me. It's like um, during the sound, every time I, I meditate, I sometimes see like... Um, White light, mm. uh, bright sunlight. So you're not going anywhere. But 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 then after a while, it just there's no color, nothing, uh-huh. and then there would be a lot of thoughts that it's going through my mind, and then because of that, I cannot concentrate to meditate. Oh, okay. So oftentimes I do a lot of guanyin. Yes. And the problem with yes, it has been good up till lately. Um, I tend to forget a lot of things. I uh-huh. mean, there's one day I would totally like one of my residents would call me and ask where I am, uh-huh. and and I said, "What do you mean, where am I?" You know, <laughs> you're and, on call. You're supposed to be on duty, right? <laughs> yeah, he said I'm supposed to go to uh-huh. to the clinic. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I just forgot, right? Okay, yeah, never mind, never mind. Next time, just put an alarm clock on your phone, okay? Mm-hmm. What time? And uh, put a message on it, or just alarm clock. When the alarm clock went off, and you will see the note in front of you. When you meditate, you put a note in front. When the alarm mm-hmm. clock ring, you read the note. Okay. Go now. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Clinic today. Uh, I also have to do the same. What do you think? How I remember everything? I have to also write note. I always have a a note. Mm-hmm. Next to me, yeah, a note, uh, note pad, yeah, small note pad. Right. And then I also have a diary next to me all the time. Otherwise, I forget things also. Well, I pay off all my loan already. And then good. Bravo. Is there anything I can do to for you to improve <laughs> myself? Oh, so you want to become resident yeah. here instead of resident in the clinic? Correct. What's the difference? <laughs> Because I feel like I'm going nowhere. Uh, understand. But how, what makes you think that if you come with me, you will go somewhere? You might go even less nowhere because you stay in one place <laughs> with me. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, lately, there are a program in Sihu to take up new residents. If you want, you can uh, put your resume, okay? And when I have time, have a look, all right? Okay. Yeah. But what do you want to do for me? You are in America and I am here. You're in America, right? Yes, I'm in America. How how are you going to stay here, for example? I don't know. Okay, let's see. Let let's think about it, okay? You can also stay in America in the center. Maybe because of all that work that you appreciate your meditation more. That's why you even have light and sun and all this stuff. And the color doesn't matter because sometimes after the sun and the the white light, the moon, maybe you are gone into a different level and then the mind is, doesn't see anymore. All right? Okay. But <laughs> Beat the sound still there? Yes, the sound still uh, there. And it will tell you what level you are according to the, the list of the initiation, remember? Yes. And you're going somewhere. What do you hear now? Nowadays? Nowadays, um, a lot of mixed type of sound. All right. I, I can't okay. tell what sound is what. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, let me think about it, Okay. I, I know your name. I have a look, okay? I look up in your in your chart. I have the list. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anything else, love? 
Master, as far as the uh, doing too much sound, is that okay? It's okay, it's okay. Because all the time you are doing the, the light also anyway. While you recite the holy names, while you're walking, sleeping, right. eating, okay? If you do the sound, it's good. Some people have a lot of difficulty doing the sound. So you should be lucky. You may try to do more proportionally, okay? It's not because you do the sound you forget. You're just getting old, <laughs> like me. <laughs> and also too much work also, you see? Yeah, yes. just write notes. What's wrong with that? Write okay. notes, post it right in front of you or in front of the door or where the, wherever you see the most, like in the bathroom. Or before you meditate, you put a note in front of you and put the alarm clock. The phone always have an alarm clock. Right. So, very easy, okay? Uh-huh. That's easy. And easy problem. It's not a big problem. <laughs> what kind of uh, doctor are you? Um, surgery. Surgery, oh. Wow, that's a hard job. Well, I just got a new job coming uh, this August. Doing what? Foot and ankle surgery. Ah, okay. Yeah. And this is a very good opportunity, but at the same time, I feel like, yes, I will be making a lot of money, but at the same Easy. time, I'll be paying for with, you know, not having t- enough time for meditation. But you or... meditate three hours a day. That's a lot for, for everybody else. For doing what you are doing, and you made three hours a day, I feel you're very diligent already. But why do I feel like I'm not as devoted as I have been before. Yeah. Oh. I'll probably you take it for granted. But if you meditate three hours a day and a lot of sound, that's okay already. I'm happy with you. You want to do six hours or five like him? <laughs> you can quit your job, go work with him. <laughs> huh? Do surgical on the salad. <laughs> do you think that that would help with my spiritual enlightenment? Oh, darling, this is your life, okay? You try any way you want. Try, okay? Because I, I would like your recommendation because I would do anything mm. to, to improve myself. What do you expect? Just tell me what you want from spiritual practice. What? Every day Jesus, Buddha comes to you? No, but at least, like, at least it's like, you know, half the noble quality, God quality, like you, don't like, have? Like, like you, but I oh, feel man. like I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing what I do. I don't even know if I'm noble or not. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? Why you compare yourself to me? Okay, you are a disciple. I am a master. My right. job, okay? You're a doctor. You're doing your job. I'm a master. I'm doing my job. I don't compare myself to you like I am not good enough to cut somebody else's throat <laughs> or foot. Yeah, I don't compare. You are expert at it, okay? You devote yourself to that. And I devote myself to other cause. We both have different jobs, okay? You don't have to be like me. You're doing very fine. You meditate even three hours a day for, for such a busy schedule like you have. I'm very impressed already. Okay? I don't know what do you want to do. I'll quit your job and then become a nun or something. Is that what you want? Well, if that's what it takes to help I don't know me. if it <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it helps you. You, you don't never know until it tr- you try. Hmm? Uh, sometimes people, the more time you have, the less work you do. But uh, I understand that you want to devote more time for meditation, but it's uh, not necessarily that the more time you have, the more concentrate you can. I'm not sure about that. Let, let's think about that, okay? Yeah. Many people want to be in your shoes. Huh? Right? Yes, huh? yes or no? Yes. Is it? Oh, you're a good girl. <laughs> Doctor is a hard job, you know? Surgery, you need concentration. But I feel like I'm not helping a lot of people. It's just, you know, only a few that I come in contact to tell them about veganism. Oh, never mind, just cut their feet. <laughs> it's your job to cut, not to teach. <laughs> and if they uh, do something on Facebook like the lady, ask her how. We're in your free time. If you cannot do meditation when you feel restless, going nowhere, then just do Facebook. Get some fans. 
get some uh, bravo from them. Yeah? Then you feel you can interact with people, and then you will feel like you will uh, be able to exercise your knowledge then, your wisdom. Then you will understand that you really have progressed. Okay. Okay, because if you don't use it, you don't, you don't know how skillful you are. Just like you have learned surgery, yeah? Mm-hmm. But you, ha- you learn all that in the school, yeah? But if you have never practiced it on one or two person, huh? okay. then you wouldn't know if you're skillful or not, if you have really have learned anything useful or not, okay? Right. Ah, oh, my God, complain, complain, complain. <laughs> you got a good job, you're good looking, meditate well, and complain. <laughs> no, no, Master, because the reason I have this question, because I, you know, I want this lifetime if I can go to the fifth level, because I don't want to come back here anymore. Understand. But when you go to fifth level, sometimes you don't know it. You have to listen to the sound, Okay. If it's the you know the sound that we describe, then you are on the fifth level. Sometimes it's not very uh, distinctive; it's just high pitch. Then, okay, I I can't distinguish. It's like a mixture of every everything, so mm, I can't tell. try to try to to pick the the high higher pitched one or the one that you want to pick. Okay, the one that described during the time of initiation for the fifth level. Try to pick that one and concentrate on that. Then it becomes just that, and not too many mixing things. Okay? You're doing good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, some people don't know their luck. Yeah? <laughs> you, you, you're alone, right? Yes. Why don't you get a boyfriend or something <laughs> and vent your frustration on him? <laughs> No, no, I'm not frustrated. It's just yeah. that I want, you know, to improve myself. Yeah, in yeah, yeah. You are doing level. it. You are doing it. But your job is also a doctor. Hmm? If you go, what to do with all these patients? Nobody cut their feet. What are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> they need you to cut their feet. <laughs> okay. Let me think about it. How old are you now? I'm 37. My God. <laughs> I wish only 37. I'm so hurry. You want to go fifth level? Bravo. But let me think about it. Okay? I think you're doing well. Hmm? Thank mm. you, Master. Just want to be a nun. That's what it is. You know? I want to stick around in you know, my pocket <laughs> like everybody else. <laughs> uh, let me think about it. Okay? okay. Next one, please. Thank you, Master. Anybody else who want to cut somebody's? <laughs> Yeah, I I'm very uh, touched also by your aspiration, uh, wanting to be a fifth level saint and all that. <laughs> but sometimes uh, we also have duty in this world to take care. Yes, and sometimes because we're doing that, we also can go up. Yeah, and sometimes because of not doing that, we go up. It depends. Each person is different. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, but you're doing well. If you see the light and you hear the sound, you're doing well. You could meditate three hours, that's a lot. I'm impressed. On a Guan Yin and, and a lot of hours on Guan Yin, that's impressive. A lot of people cannot do Guan Yin a lot. Mostly they just sit and do the, the light, yeah? I like the sound because that's, that's how I get rid of all the thoughts in yeah? my mind. Then it's cool. <laughs> then do that, yeah? And the rest of the time you... You can close your eyes and do the, the light anywhere you can, anytime you have time. That's easy, okay? It's more difficult if you, you do the sound, but if you already done that, then the light is easy to take care of, yeah? You sit in the restroom or you have a break uh, during your work, anytime you can do the light, anywhere, okay? Okay, thank cool. you. Cool. Thank you, Master. Uh, you're good. I'm a Master. You're a new and uh, science news, good news. Yeah. And uh, a scientist uh, from Iran, he said he can build an airplane. The the plane from Dunedin to to Tokyo just need thirty minutes. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's uh, better than the the one that we have before, the one that break the house, marry and go from New York to uh, London only four hours. Oh, very good. That the person is an Iranian, but he lives in 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 Belgium. 
Okay. He can, already built it? Maybe ne next year. Ah. Oh, he tried to build in Belgium or he go back to Iran to build? Maybe in Italy. Okay. 而且他说他的他的技术可以全部自由公开的给所有的世界各个政府他只是这样子发表不给人家弄的 哦,你們可以每天去看我很快。半小時台灣這裡,半小時。太好了。跟跟跟有福差不多的。那個發電機的叫他趕快弄好,賣給我幾個。我問首先買,OK?我有時候需要啊,人多。Yeah. <笑> okay, I'm going outside now. Okay? And if you guys want to go out and meditate with me, it's okay. If not, just sit here and meditate. All right? I like your song. <laughs> Convenient, huh? What is it? You want this one? <laughs> All this material attachment must be cut off if you want to go somewhere. Whatever I don't teach you, that means don't do. Yeah? Yes. It's enough that you, you practice what I teach you. That's already a lot already. Don't make any of this request. My hair, my shoes, my clothes, or anything. Cut all that, okay? Yes. Yes. I mean it. You don't worship me and my body. You worship my teaching. Yes. Yes. You want to see me because you love me, but not because of the body. You want to see me because I'm the representative of heaven, perhaps and because I'm the instrument to, to bring you more blessing power into this world. So, okay, you go close to me, maybe you get it, it's fine. But not hair, not nails, not toe, not nothing. Don't cut feet, nothing. <laughs> make peace. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com.